This is the faces at the window, with your daily prescription of comedy. Stick us in your ears like a suppository of fun. If you'd care to, chuck us some pennies via patreon.com, crowdfunder.com, or our PayPal tips jar. It's cheaper than the NHS. Possibly. Day 19. Today we return to the world of two very singular bachelors. Well, Rothschild, I'm back. Uh, wasn't easy, but uh, what on earth are you doing? Sitting there with that look on your face. Ah, bloody swift. What, what, what look? You look as if something has mortified you. Do I? Exceedingly. Why the bloody hell are you looking like that? Oh, God, it's true. I imagine it is. Oh, God, I'm sorry, Swifty. I, I am sorry to have to talk about this. I'm asking you to. I know, but it's so gratuitous, but... Wait, uh, seeing as you ask, the thing of it is, I've been... Oh! Out with it! I've been thinking about castration and I can't stop. What? I started thinking about it and I can't stop. I, I just keep seeing it. What kind of castration? Animal? Horse? No. My own? Why, for God's sake? I'm just trying to read this book to get my mind off it, but I just can't stop envisioning it. I can't get past the first sentence. All I can see is... Why? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I was just looking at this bread knife, and there it was. Then it's castration by bread knife? Yes, but it's sideways. Sideways? Well, I, I was slicing. You know how terribly difficult it is to slice a loaf with just a bread knife? No. Well, I find it is. I just can't manage to slice all the way down. I, I can't slice in a line straight down so the slice of bread isn't evenly wide all the way. And I even climb upwards incrementally until I'm about two thirds of the way down. The blade just emerges from the front of the loaf and I'm left with this useless, flimsy piece of doorstop shaped bread that simply peters out at one end. I still don't understand the sideways. Well, you see, because of this difficulty I have sliding all the way down a loaf, I tend to turn on its side and slice all the way across it instead. Ah, oh, I see, because loaves tend to be taller than they are wide. That's it! Uh, that's the way you bake. That's the shape of my baking tip. Uh, and therefore the easier to slice sideways. Uh, provided, of course, that your bread knife blade is strong enough, because what with a wider surface area to cut through... There's less space for the blade to drive back and forth. Oh, of course. I, I mean, a shetty or a scimitar, there would be no problem. But, but I was using a bread knife. Anyway, it was when I was turning the bread onto its side, I, I felt like I was somehow holding down a chicken ready for disemboweling. And then it occurred to me that... I could quite easily castrate myself with that bread knife. A logical series of images, really, but no, I can't stop the thought. But surely you don't want to castrate yourself? Well, of course not. I, I find the whole concept appalling, sending shivers up and down my sides even now we talk about it. And yet... And yet? Well, <laughs> I, I realise this thought borders on the psychotic, but... It does seem a shame somehow if we don't at least test the theory. I hope you're not suggesting I castrate myself. No, 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 no. Of course no. But I could do it for you. Rothschild, if you even attempt to refine my genitals, rest assured I will soon return the favour. Uh, you're firm on that, are you? Practically firm, my friend, and I intend to remain so. Now, with that deterrence in place, please let us conclude that the theory of a bread knife's ability to slice genital matter need not be tested, for it is obviously true, and need not be practiced, because that would obviously be mad. As usual, Bladder Swift, your words are sensible and comforting. Naturally. I still can't stop thinking about it, though! Faces at the window dot com.